Have you ever experienced that weird sensation of falling while you are sleeping? That sudden jolt that wakes you up in a panic, thinking you were about to fall off a cliff. Well, let me tell you, it's not just you. In fact, this sensation is so common that it has a scientific name, the hypnic jerk. But why do we experience this strange sensation, and what does it mean for our sleep? In this video, we'll dive deep into the science of the hypnic jerk, exploring its causes, effects, and everything in between. So buckle up, and let's get started. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the first to see our latest videos. As we mentioned earlier, the hypnic jerk is that sensation of falling that often occurs just as you are drifting off to sleep. But what exactly causes this strange phenomenon? Well, there are a few different theories out there, but one of the most widely accepted is that the hypnic jerk is a natural part of our body's sleep cycle. When we fall asleep, our muscles begin to relax, and our heart rate slows down. This relaxation can cause a decrease in oxygen levels in the body, which can trigger a reflex in the brain to jolt us awake, in order to increase oxygen intake. But that's not the only theory out there. Some experts believe that the hypnic jerk is a leftover evolutionary response from our ancestors. Back in the days of cavemen, falling asleep in a vulnerable position could be dangerous, as predators could attack while we were unconscious. The hypnic jerk, then, could have been a way for our bodies to quickly respond to any potential danger and wake us up before it was too late. Regardless of its origin, the hypnic jerk can be a frustrating experience for those who suffer from it regularly. So what can you do to prevent or minimize the hypnic jerk? Well, there are a few things you can try. For starters, you can try adjusting your sleep position. Sleeping on your back can actually increase your chances of experiencing a hypnic jerk, so try sleeping on your side instead. Additionally, reducing your caffeine intake and avoiding stimulants before bed can also help to minimize the hypnic jerk. But what about those who experience more severe hypnic jerks? For some people, the sensation can be so intense that it actually interferes with their sleep quality, leading to daytime fatigue and other negative effects. If you're one of these people, it may be worth speaking with your doctor about possible solutions. There are medications that can help to reduce the frequency and intensity of hypnic jerks, as well as therapies like cognitive behavioral therapy that can help you to better manage the condition. Now, before we wrap up, let's talk about some of the myths surrounding the hypnic jerk. One of the most common is that the hypnic jerk is a sign that you are about to die. This, of course, is not true. While the sensation can be unsettling, it is a completely normal part of the sleep cycle and is not indicative of any larger health issues. Another myth is that the hypnic jerk is a sign that you are not getting enough sleep. While it's true that fatigue can exacerbate the hypnic jerk, the sensation itself is not a sign of sleep deprivation. So if you're experiencing hypnic jerks, don't panic, it's nothing to worry about. In conclusion, the hypnic jerk is a fascinating and sometimes frustrating part of our body's sleep cycle. While we may not fully understand why it happens, we do know that it's completely normal and nothing to be afraid of. So next time you feel that sudden jolt, just take a deep breath and remember, it's just your body doing its thing. And if you do find that the hypnic jerk is interfering with your sleep, remember that there are steps you can take to minimize its effects. But before we go, let's hear a few stories from people who have experienced the hypnic jerk firsthand. I used to experience the hypnic jerk almost every night, and it was really frustrating. I would be just about to fall asleep, and then I would jolt awake, heart racing. But once I started sleeping on my side instead of my back, it really made a difference. Now I hardly ever experience it at all. I didn't even realize that the hypnic jerk was a thing until I started dating my partner. They experience it all the time, and at first, I thought they were having seizures or something. But now I understand that it's just a normal part of their sleep cycle. I've had the hypnic jerk for as long as I can remember, but it's never really bothered me. In fact, I almost find it kind of comforting it's like my body is telling me that I'm really falling asleep. Plus, it's always a good conversation starter. So there you have it, the science behind the hypnic jerk, along with some tips for minimizing its effects and a few stories from those who have experienced it themselves. We hope you found this video informative and entertaining. That's it, we've reached the end of the video. If you made it this far, you're one of the best people out there. Before you go, make sure to give us a like to let us know you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions that pop into your head in the middle of the night, feel free to leave them in the comments below so we can answer them for you.